As a community that strongly values and honors those who commit to serve our country, it is a tradition at these graduation ceremonies, and especially on this Memorial Day weekend, to recognize our Tigers in the class of 2019 who have committed to serve. Graduates, when your names are called, please stand and remain standing. A.J. Ba Bailey, Jack Hampton, Jack Hampton, Kean Palmer, Alexander Smith, Ohio National Guard, Aaron Borchers, Mason Funk, Army, Xavier Thomas, Marine Corps, Drew Vanderhorst, Air Force ROTC. Members of the audience who are veterans and enlisted as well, please stand and join these Tigers in the class of 2019. Your service matters to us all, and we thank you for it. Among us today, we also have two of our three faculty who have decided to graduate with the class of 2019. Ms. Tracy Burge, 27 years, who you probably know as the person who started, maintained, and grew the recycling program at Loveland High School. Mrs. Terry Swenson, teacher of mathematics, 27 years, taught all levels of mathematics, and started our boys' volleyball program as well. She does not want to stand and be recognized. <laughs> Mrs. Linda Ernie, who has organized 27 years of this graduation ceremony in her 31 years with Loveland City Schools. Mrs. Ernie, come on out. Now comes the time when I have the great honor to speak to the class of 2019. It's a daunting task to choose the words for all of you, especially when I get such thoughtful words, most of the time, from you. When Matt says, thank you, Mrs. Johnson, for getting to know me, I appreciate your joy. It is contagious. When Casey says, it's been a year. Thanks for supporting me. When Emma says, Remember, I was one of your first tweets four years ago, and we both remember exactly where it happened. When Mary impresses the bejeebies out of us with her skills and willingness always to help others, even when they're not as willing to get better at those skills. When we realize Cameron showed up every single day of his high school career. So yes, today we need the Tigers in the class of 2019 to know that we love who you are and appreciate your passions and pursuits of excellence, even when it's been difficult to do so, even when you were afraid that all of your hard work would not pay off, even when your fear of doing something almost kept you from doing it. I have a fear of speaking in front of a large audience and I was this close to asking Med Megan Pettisini to do it for me this year. But here goes, here are my words for you. You've heard this phrase many, many times, but I want you to hear it again. You are good enough. You are smart enough, athletic enough, artistic enough, techy enough to make your dreams come true. If you have not read the book Wonder by R.J. Palacio, okay, you probably saw the movie, I still recommend the book. Here's a snippet of what it would tell you, and I quote, it is what you've done with your time, how you've chosen to spend your days, and whom you've touched. That, to me, is the greatest measure of success. The most important precept is to be aware of who we are, who we are, us, right? What kind of people are we? What kind of person are you? Isn't that the most important thing of all? Isn't that the question we should be asking ourselves all the time? What kind of person am I?" End quote. As much as each of you have begun to discover who you are, where you want to go, and how you might get there, 
you are still so much more. And sometimes, in order to become who you want to be, you need to stop thinking about, better yet, totally forget who others think you are or who they think you should be. Your job is to be you. Your job is to take care of you. This does not mean you should be so focused on yourself that you forget, ignore, or treat poorly others that come in and out of your life. Kindness, a grateful heart, and real acceptance of others makes you a much better you. So be as driven as you are in Nerf Wars. Be kind, be on time, be prepared to work hard, be careful with your words and your parents' money, be in contact with your family, be hopeful, be grateful, please tigers, be safe. I will leave you with this from Lynn manuel Miranda. Chapter one, page one. Everything so far has been backstory. Chapter one, page one. Your story begins today. Congratulations, Tigers. You have left your mark, your impressions on Loveland High School. Dr. Krause, I present to you the class of 2019 with all of their respect, responsibility, integrity, and pride invested in Tiger Nation. Oh, and yes, some good clean fun thrown in along the way.